Good afternoon and welcome to the fifth day of a week on Gusto. And it's going pretty well so far. The odd blip, but overall pretty good. Some really, really nice food. Are we going to make it four out of five as far as quality goes? I am hopeful but nervous because we're going back to our vegetarian roots. We started the week with a vegetarian meal and we're going to... Well, we're not ending it, are we? There's still two days after this. But we're going to have a satay sweet potato and kale curry. There's a hell of a lot of ingredients on this one, as you can see. So this is going to take a while, 25 to 30 minutes, but it's 581 calories, which I would have, I would have thought it would have been less ha having been all veg. And it doesn't seem like the ingredients are that bad. So whatever, let's go through them. And we have coriander, an onion, a lime, some ginger, curry powder, tomato paste, chili flakes, vegetable stock, yogurt, peanut butter, peanuts, kale, and a sweet pot. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? I mean, I know on here it says 25 to 30 minutes, but it's gonna, it's gonna, I feel like it's gonna take longer than that. I really, it's, it's, uh, it's 20 past 12 currently, so we will see what the time is when we actually sit down to eat this bad boy. So I'm hopeful it's going to be good. They're all really nice ingredients. Should be nice and salty and peanut and sweet. And I'm excited to try it. Just a little bit worried because I'm a weird person. <laughs> I've now been joined by my helper. Yes, I'm here to do all the work that you don't want to do. That's, fine. That's fair enough. Um, so the first thing is um, do the oven. That's already doing... Uh, chop the sweet potato skin on into small bite-sized pieces. Okay. Except that bit. No, that's your bit. And that's your bit. What do you reckon? Small and bite-sized enough? I would say, well, it's too late if it's not. <laughs> now put it back together and start again. Got a tray and potatoes. if you wouldn't mind doing the honours with the salt. And then that's going to go into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until sweet potato is cooked and golden. Okay. Oh, that's warm. It's an oven. Kettle boiled as per the instructions. And then uh, finely peel and chop the onion. I don't know how you finally peel an onion. I don't know why I said that. If I never have to peel an onion, it'd be too soon. You have peeled about three onions. That's three too many. Just buy it pre-chopped, frozen. What a way. We never do that. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, There's a uh, whole uh, bag uh, of... Well, you wouldn't know anyway because you don't cook. How dare you? There we go. Into... Where's the sizzle? You're in control of this. I am not in control. There's Look, no sizzle. It's... You have prematurely added the onion. You, I, we, you all saw you do it. <laughs> Peel or scrape off the skin with a teaspoon and finely chop or grate your ginger. That is a hell of a lot. Where's the spoon? It's there. I I'm got it for you. It. That is effort. Oh, look. Just cut it off. We're not even going to be using the whole thing anyway because you don't like ginger. Ginger's horrible. That's correct. It stinks. Lovely. There's that sizzle. It's all happening now. Uh, so now we need to dissolve the vegetable stock in 600 ml of water. So it's going to be quite, it's going to be an old bloody thing. I suppose it needs to uh, get the old lentils going, doesn't it? Keep going, keep going. Who said there's enough? Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go, that'll do. That'll do, who cares? Onions are brown, so in goes the curry powder. Cool, and then, there you go, I need those as well. Chili flakes. Ooh, I, see. I mean, it does say if you don't want it too hot, well, don't, don't, add it, don't add it all. <laughs> you didn't say that. I, no, I didn't, I should have. Tomato paste. Oh, God, I can already. <laughs> it's already hitting the back of my throat, that. Okay. Right, take your time, mate. And then the ginger. 
And what do we do? Complain about how too much ginger's in there. Cook it for a minute. Next up is rinse the red lentils. I don't think I've ever cooked lentils before. No, I don't think I've had either. In my entire life. So I'm I, rinsed yeah. I need to be. How rinsed? Um, Vegas while drunk and uh, morning a divorce rinse. Ooh, that was that was nice and graceful. Into the pan. Ooh, I'm missing. Ooh. I'm missing. Nice and graceful, ow, isn't it? Ow. Yeah, I have I have spilt some, but there we go. Now bring it to the boil, and then something. The curry is boiling. It smells very fragrant. So next, the lid goes on for ten to fifteen minutes, or until lentils are cooked. So, uh, Having never cooked lentils though, how are we going to know when we, they're we, we will guess. 10 minutes later, well, about 15 minutes. I'd say they're done. Oh, yeah, they've fluffed up loads, haven't they? Yeah, all the stock has just vamoosed. Could do with being a bit thicker, but I guess we do have more ingredients to go, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. So what, what goes next? Um, chop the coriander. Can't really do that with our hands full, can we? Cut to that! Lovely. And then... There you go, but it will wilt to buggery. And um, you'll probably not know there's any kale in there by the time that's done. So this is gonna be in there for three to five minutes. Um, and then other stuff. The kale is all nice and wilted. So next goes the peanut butter and then the coriander. So in goes the peanut butter. It's a lot of, is, I'm assuming it's both of these, is it? Coriander. Yeah, we've got two. And on the old ingredients, yes, two peanut butter. You couldn't see any of that, it was blurry. Two peanut butters. But it is satay after all. Yeah. So peanut is the star of the show. Trust the process. Trust the process. That should thicken it a little bit as well. Yeah, instantly. Then juice of half a lime. That's hard. That's what she said. Right. So as you can see, we're already at like 45 minutes. Sweet potato's just about done. That's just gonna go on the side for now because that's not going in yet. Oh, it's just okay. gonna be like crumbled on top. So sweet potato is out. Um, yeah, and then uh, it's time to serve. Okay. Yeah, shove it in. Nice and oh, thick. It's a lot of portion. I was thinking, when I saw this initially, we're, we're gonna mix the rice, but I guess the lentils are there instead. Yeah, it's definitely bulked up a lot more than I thought it was going to. Yeah. I just go to show our unrefined lentilless pallets. So now, this is a bit of a Yeah, I mean, it definitely says not to. They, they definitely go on sure. top of rather than into. I suppose they've crisped up, so putting them instantly within the sauce would really soften them up, I guess. Yeah. On goes the yogurt, some peanuts and sprinkle a garnish. So, what do we reckon? We've got, if I can get the plummy thing. Got these, they, um, they don't look anything alike, do they? I mean, reminiscent of, I guess. The kale is way prominent in that. It is, yeah, and our kale is, no longer exists. Let's try it, I need to get a bit of everything. Hey, look, you can see the steam coming off it. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. It's spicy. Is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we knew that you'd like, you were like, YOLO, let's put the whole- You didn't tell me. I mean, you didn't give me chance. Mm. Good though. Really creamy with the yogurt on top. Nutty. Anxious. Right, let us try. Cool, there's a kick. I tell you what. It's nice, isn't it? That is delicious. That is delicious. Creamy, really, really nice and spicy. And they've got that spicy flavour as well. The kale 
The peanuts is a really nice saltiness to it. And the cream is from the yogurt. We have nailed that. Mm. Oh, that is absolutely... Does it need garlic? Potentially, but I would say that's my favourite of the week so far. Ooh, I'm going to finish mine. And then I'll let you know. There's a spice to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was really, no, no I'm going to upgrade it. That was delicious. Easily the nicest thing of the week so far. And it's, it's made me look quite foolish because here I was before even starting cooking saying, I'm not really looking forward to this. This is just boring vegetarian food. It was amazing. It was delicious. I'm so happy. So, so happy. It was hot and spicy and salty and sticky and unctuous and warm and tasty and filling yum 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 but because there was no like meaty protein in there i'm a little bit worried that in a couple of hours i'm gonna be very hungry because that just seems to be the way that i am when i have stuff that doesn't have like meat or stodgy pasta or rice in there it had the lentils, yes, but I just got a feeling. I just got a feeling that I'm going to be chewing at my arm. Although we had it for lunch, so we're probably going to have like chicken and rice for dinner because we're mixing it up today. Having the big meal in the middle of the day. I mean, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, so it's all fine. So I've got no complaints, honestly. The only thing, the only, I wouldn't even add meat to that dish necessarily, even if I'm starving in like 20 minutes. Maybe mushrooms? Maybe, I think that would probably be quite nice. But no, that would be if I'm being just like overly critical. It was incredible and I would be more than happy just having a week on that at this point. That might take a lot of cooking because it said 25 to 30 minutes, I think, and it took almost half of that. Yes, a little bit of the time was warming up the oven but not that much of it so whatever it's i don't care <laughs> it's worth it oh, i suggest if you do decide to check out gusto have that dish it was yummy you won't regret it unless you're like allergic to dairy or lentils or something um Here's another reminder of that discount code. Links in the description if you want to check out Gusto yourself. This is not a sponsored week on, um, but with the whole affiliate marketing thing, we will get a little bit of credit, which means that we could have some more Gusto. And don't worry, we're, after that, I want more Gusto. I want seven more Gustos. <sighs> I'm going to go to bed happy tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I just, I'm, I'm enjoying this now. It started well, it went really far down, and now it's right up there. So, oh, if you want to see the rest of this week on two more days to go, then please do consider supporting the show on Patreon. You will get to watch the rest of this week on right now. Or if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, you'll be notified as soon as it goes live tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to top this, though. But hopefully we can give it a go. See you then. Yeah.